So we're caught up in drama Hey, how's it going everybody? It feels great to be back on the mic. Long story short, I had issues with my YouTube account and on top of that, work has been very exhausting. So I haven't really had the energy to make videos, just being 100% uh, just being 100% honest with you guys. And today's video is going to be unscripted cuz hey, you know, I'm just trying to talk from trying to talk from the heart, guys. I miss you. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, well, I do miss you, but you know, just as a joke, you know, wink, wink. <laughs> but today's gameplay video footage, however you want to say, it, is provided by Pro Frame Profane Profane Productions. Wow, I'm, I was like adding another syllable to that name. But thank you, man. I appreciate it very, very much. If you guys, my subs, my community, you know, the, the people who actually watch my videos, you're fucking awesome. So how about you do me a solid and go check them out. If you like what I do with Destiny videos and all that good shit, you'll most likely like what he does. So, like I said, do me a solid and go check them out. You know, say hi and tell them, you know, I sent you. Ha <laughs> ha. But into today's main topic. Supposedly, leaks, inside scoops are saying that we, as a community, as Destiny Guardians players, however you want to explain it, we might be able to get Destiny 1 exotics in Destiny 2. I know, gasp, oh my god, they said they weren't going to do that, they said they weren't going to recycle. Well, I'm kind of on the fence about this. But before I go forward, which exotic, no matter armor piece or weapon, which exotic would you like to bring over to Destiny 2 if you had the chance to? Me, I would probably, it's very hard. I love a lot of the exotics, but honestly, I think I would have to go with Mida tool. No, 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 no. I either Mida tool or wow i can't remember what it was called i haven't played destiny one in a good minute it is called oh wow it's the exotic post rifle i don't know what it's called but it it's the one with the spikes it's if you guys know what it's called please leave it in the comments below because i can't remember what it is at the moment the the name just like went over my head but one of those two. Armor pieces, uh, I wouldn't really care about armor pieces. Maybe Bones of AL. You know, just, you know, glitch around and you know, mess around with the Hunter. That's pretty much it. I, I really can't think of anything. I'm not going to say the the obvious. Gallahorn. <laughs> Gallahorn needs to put be put to sleep. But, you know, it's time to retire Gallahorn. Just give it up, guys. Gallahorn should not come back. Bungie, please do not bring Gallahorn back. So... Supposedly, these flashpoints, which are pretty much like public events that are going to be scattered and like lost sectors, they will reward the team that completes and that figures out the puzzle a prestigious Ingram, which is white. What the thing is, if you remember, the first weapon we picked up when we first played Destiny, what was it? It was that VM14A. M16A1, I believe is what the real world is called, but I believe it was called the Kozlov, or like the white version. I, I honestly can't remember if it was still called the Kozlov, but it was pretty much the American equivalent of an assault rifle. And that weapon obviously was pretty dated. The scope, the attachment it had was cracked, and it, it was obviously old compared to the more futuristic weapons it had. But on top of that, that weapon was registered as white. So if they're really doing this purposely, like we won't get any whites, white drops, unless they're like the prestigious ones, but we won't get any white drops in Destiny 2. They'll just start off with green, then go to blue, purple, yellow, and you know, if they introduce anything else. But the prestigious reward or whatever, Ingram, is going to be rewarded to those, to the team that completes, like I was saying, that completes the puzzles and whatever it is, 
they were kind of saying or speculating it's going to be like baby puzzles to like raids. You know, you know how we had to figure out certain aspects to the raid to like continue or traverse a certain section. It's going to be like that, but in a public event environment. And I'm not too sure if I read this right, but it's going to be uh, like three teams of three, which kind of makes no sense. Like, I honestly, I'm not too sure if, wait, no, I am sure because the strikes were only three guardians, which is kind of odd because they shifted everything to four, you know, in crucible and everything. I believe they should have just shifted, you know, PVE to four, right? You know, all strikes and stuff like that. Maybe it would have been too overpowered on the guardian side. Eh, who knows? Let me know. Haha. <laughs> but. Damn, see, I'm getting sidetracked. This is why I don't really like doing unscripted videos, because I get sidetracked so easily. <laughs> but supposedly, if you complete this, I know I, let me, I'm getting to the point now, guys. If you complete these certain missions, you will be rewarded with a exotic from the past. These, I, I wouldn't want to say, fine, we're going to call them quests. These quests are called flashpoints. If you're familiar with DC Comics, there is a certain character there named, in the Justice League, named Flash. And there's a certain series or miniseries or, you know, a, a story revolving around him where he's able to go back in time to re, pretty much reshape his future. Pretty much change stuff. And it creates this different dimension or timeline or however you want to explain it which was called flashpoint so in you know bringing the information we know from that is there some way these prestigious ingrams gonna like teleport us back in time or they're just gonna be ingrams that were lost to time that over time these exotics have degraded and become white because these exotics were never found until now and you know there's just so many ways we can explain this but the main well the main point of this video is how do you guys feel how do you guys feel that they might possibly be recycling exotics from destiny 1 and i'm going to reiterate what exotic would you like from destiny 1 to come over to destiny 2 if you could choose any one just one weapon or armor let me know in the comments below but i'm gonna wrap up this video i just you know wanted to get that question out i want to see you know get a feel for you know how my community feels about it you know <laughs> and like i said going back to one video a week hopefully it's gonna be a lot better and we'll we'll build off from that and i'll catch you in the next video guys thank you for watching and stay awesome Bye bye